The Armadillo is the Utica Police Department's nuisance abatement vehicle. We use it to combat quality of life issues around the city. Recently on Wednesday, September 6th, the UPD relaunched the nuisance abatement vehicle with some upfitted technology to keep up with the times. It is a mobile armored vehicle that was refitted for civilian use. When there's a problem in a neighborhood that people want the vehicle there, I think it has an excellent use um, to deter any kind of ongoing criminal activity that's being reported in the surrounding area. It has the ability to let everyone know who's committing crimes in the neighborhood that, hey, you're being recorded and any kind of criminal activity that's going on here is not going to be tolerated. We keep it here at the Utica Police Department for charging. In the past, we were only able to keep it out there for a short period of time, one to two days. Now we can keep it out there for upwards of uh, seven days and charging is faster so we have that improved battery capability. Coupled with that, we now have improved video storage capability so we can store longer video up to 65 days worth of video. The new cameras that were added were eight new high def cameras to include six fixed cameras two on each side and one in the front and one in the back. And then additionally, we have two pan tilt zoom cameras that were added on the front and back of the vehicle. Excellent clarity on the zoom, the ability to make out faces, objects, vehicles, license plates. It really has uh, excellent clarity on the camera quality. We have the ability to view the feed here at the Crime Analysis Center, as well as live streaming to cell phones of UPD personnel. There's an application that you can download on your phone that gives the officers here at the Utica Police Department ability to see the live streaming of the video from the armadillo. And we also have the ability here at the Crime Analysis Center to manipulate the cameras, pull a stored video, and obviously view live stream video when it's deployed. So what will happen is if we have an investigation in the area of where the armadillo was deployed, we have the ability to go back and review footage from that date and time and see if any of the criminal activity was captured on video. You know, now that we have the ability to uh, appropriately capture video from the armadillo, it's, it's vastly improved from when the vehicle was deployed before. Not to say that the vehicle was not useful before, it was absolutely useful and welcomed in the neighborhoods that we put it in. However, now we just have the better ability to capture that video, use it for our investigations. The technology is well improved over the previous technology that was utilized in the vehicle. Community Outreach, Officer Manor Nakin and Officer Jimmy Donsamon, they are in charge of keeping up with the armadillo, deploying it, charging it, and they do an excellent job not only putting it where it needs to go, but also making contact with the community members in the neighborhood and telling them why it's there and what, it, what the purpose of it being there is. Well, Mayor Palmer has been a tremendous supporter of the Utica Police Department and of this project, the Armadillo. He's been instrumental in getting the quality and technology of the vehicle improved and getting this new vehicle upfitted with the appropriate cameras and, and put back on the street so it could definitely be more effective than it was previously. The new technology that the Armadillo has at this point really has teeth that will help Utica Police Department. More importantly is our residents. It's a combination of the partnership with our residents who are first and foremost telling us, listen, they don't feel safe, they don't like what's going on over there. The Armadillo is just one of our tools that we have that has been updated by the members of the Common Council, close to $25,000. We've always said from day one, you want to keep it clean and keep it safe. We want to keep it cleaner and we want to keep it safer. The technology in the vehicle was put into play by Taz Electronics, a local entity that upfitted the vehicle with all the new equipment. We've been partnered with them and we hope to keep that technology up to date as best we can. The future of policing is keeping up with the technology that's available to us. And so just to talk about the new technology that we have in the Armadillo, Criminals should be aware that, hey, if you're out there committing crimes, that there's an excellent chance that you're going to be caught on video. We're going to be able to identify you off of that surveillance that's available to us, and you're going to be held responsible for the, the crimes that you're committing. There is no denying the video.